Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Anya's Tales from the Hearth normally, but this is Tales from outside the hearth, Tales from the Cottage still, but outside the cottage. It is such a beautiful, beautiful day today, absolutely glorious blue skies, birds are singing, bees are buzzing, um, and I just couldn't be inside today on a day like today. <clears throat> so I thought, you know what, let's do something slightly different. Um, and today I'm going to do a reading from outside of Truhoney Cottage. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is slightly different is I'm not going to do one of my own poems. Um, I am working on something at the minute. I'm quite excited about it and looking forward to reading that for you, uh, showing that to you guys. But in the meantime, I have this gorgeous book. I'm not on commission, I swear to God. I should be, but uh, I have shown this book in my stories before. It's called Windfall. It's Irish nature poems to inspire and connect. Um, and it's a beautiful collection of poems by Irish poets, all to do with nature and animals. Um, very much up my street, down my street, up my street. Well, down my field, more likely. Um, and there's a couple of beautiful, beautiful poems. So I might read one or two today for you. So with for no further ado, further ado, with further ado. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know what I mean. So the one I've actually chosen to do today, it, it's actually the first poem in the book um, and it's not because of that. It's uh, by, of course, the uh, infamous William but Butler Yeats, um, who is one of my favourites. And the reason I've chosen it is not just because of the Irish theme, it's the mythology behind it, it's the rhyming of it. Um, and I've spoken about this before that I love rhyming and, and I do a lot of rhyming in my poetry. And there is an element of that is not sort of the cool thing to do. Um, there is a slight, whether it's spoken about or not, there's a slight snobbery around not rhyming your poetry. Um, I don't know, I think, I think that had changed over the years. Uh, but William Butler Yeats is somebody who was not afraid of a rhyme and was not afraid of a rhythm. Um, and to me, I just love the beautiful sing song of the verses and the way they're put together. And of course, the Irish mythology and the Irish words and all of that. So this one is called The Song of Wandering Angus. I went out to the Hazelwood because a fire was in my head and cut and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread. And when white moths were on the wing and moth-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When I had laid it on the floor, I went to blow the fire of flame, but something rustled on the floor and someone called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossom in her hair who called me by my name and ran and faded through the brightening air. Though I am old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hand and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon, the golden apples of the sun. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, again, the book is Windfall. It's out. I think it's still out um, at the minute. Um, beautiful cover, hardback cover. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's by edited by Jane Clark, illustrated by Jane Car Carkill. And it has like Seamus Heaney, Evan Boland, Pat Patrick Kavanagh and all kind of the Irish greats, old and new. So it is, it's a beautiful book. Again, I'm not on commission, um, but when I love something, I do like to talk about it. So I hope you enjoyed that. And for in between times when I don't have something of my own, I may just uh, read a little something from this, uh, my favorite ones for you guys. So look, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I hope you're having a lovely day like I am here at the cottage. We're having just such a beautiful day. All the animals are flaked out. They're absolutely roasting. They're not doing much. So we're all trying to chill a little bit. Uh, so enjoy your day and enjoy the rest of your week. Until next week, I'll see you guys again from Anya's Tales from the Hearth. Take care. Sláinte.